Welcome to the Joy of Music. My name is Diane Bish and I would like to invite you to join us today as we bring you a musical visit to Carcassonne, one of the most picturesque medieval walled cities in Europe. Today our music comes from two churches of Carcassonne, St. Michael's and St. Nazaire. Thank you for joining us. Carcassonne is divided into two sections, the old walled medieval city and the newer part which dates back to the 1200s. The Cathedral of St. Michael in the new part of Carcassonne had its origins dating back to the 13th century. Surviving many wars and even a fire in the 19th century, the cathedral stands as a testament to God and to the countless people who dedicated their lives to building this historic house of worship. I am seated at the grand organ of the Carcassonne St. Michael Cathedral. 
It was built by the famous Cavalier Cole, the French builder, and completed in 1859. It consists of three manuals, four divisions, and about 2,500 pipes. The stops of the organ are found on both sides of the keyboards with the flutes, the strings, and the foundations on the left side, and the reeds, which are the trumpets, clarions, uh, trombones, etc., on the right side. There are no pistons on the organ, but there are couplers, which one works with the feet. The reeds are fiery, the strings are beautiful and warm, and the sound is rich.
With music from St. Michael's Cathedral, we travel across town to the section of Carcassonne named the Cité, the historic Wall City. One would not want to visit Carcassonne without seeing the Count's Castle. This last inner bastion was built in the 12th century by the Viscounts of Carcassonne. The old walled city of Carcassonne also contains 52 towers, two concentric walls, and the Narbonne and Auta Gate. A walk through the narrow streets will give the visitor a sense of the amazing history of this medieval city. To step into Carcassonne is to journey back in time. No other European city has longer town walls. It seems that everyone who came here decided to build. The earliest walls date back to the Romans, but construction would continue through the efforts of several powerful French citizens and kings. Although the town has been the site of several major battles, today it is invaded only by tourists and other visitors who are intrigued with its historic past. Found within the walls of the Cité is the ancient St. Nazaire Church, where we played the historic organ.
We are standing in the Basilica of St. Nazaire in Carcassonne, which is known as the jewel of the old city, dating back to the 11th and 14th centuries. All that remains today of the Romanesque Cathedral, begun in 1096, is the barrel vaulted nave supported by two side aisles. Of special note in the basilica are the 14th century rose windows and the beautiful stained glass in the choir area, said to be among the finest in southern France. The organ of the Basilica of St. Nazaire in Carcassonne is one of the largest and oldest in southern France. The original organ dates back to 1522. In the 16th, 17th, and 18th centuries, the French organists and composers would write and improvise on Christmas carols. These carols and improvisations were called Noels, and they used the color stops of the organ. The Noels are so appropriate for this organ because they have these color stops in great abundance, such as the Crumhorn stop, or the Trumpet stops, or the beautiful eight and two foot flutes. I would like to play for you now on the St. Nazaire organ and the color stops, a Noel by Claude Belbostra called Your Goodness, Great God.
high on the wall, right behind where the organist sits, are the bellows of the organ. Of course, when this organ was built in 1522, it was necessary for men to come into the organ loft and to pump air by hand into the bellows. But now, it is done electrically with an electric motor. While our performance was going on, one could hear the creaking and the groaning as the bellows go up and down. I'm sure that you'll be able to hear it in some of the music today. I would like to play now one of Bach's chorale preludes on the hymn, Hark a Voice, saith all are mortal. Whenever Bach wrote of death, he wrote in a very intimate style. And this is one of the most beautiful of all the chorale preludes.
My name is Diane Bish, and I would like to thank you for joining us today on The Joy of Music, as we have brought you a musical visit to Carcassonne, France, one of the most picturesque towns in all of Europe. Our music today has come from the Cathedral of St. Michael in La Bastide and St. Nazaire in La Cité. Thank you for joining us, and we look forward to seeing you again next week on The Joy of Music. Diane Bish and the Joy of Music wish to thank Air France for their support in making this program possible.